how was the break? Uh, is it sometimes a good thing to have an enforced break from playing games and an opportunity to, to recharge some batteries and, and refocus and get ready to, to go again? Possibly something that we needed with the injuries we've had. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, you still have to train and you pick up injuries and training as well, so it's difficult. But, you know, we, we bat on and, you know, we go... Every game we, we, we play, we, we go with an, uh, an ambitious target of trying to win the game and, um, you know, we set ourselves up to try and win the game. Has it allowed you to get one or two back from injury? Maybe one, maybe one, but could have lost them one as well, so it's, uh, it's probably balances itself out. How acute are we talking with this injury situation? And I'm aware you don't want to go on about it no, in detail. No, I mean, you can't, you can't just... You, you, you fall into the trap of woe is me and you know it's negativity 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 and we've seen the positives that can come of it we've seen young Conor O'Brien grabbing his, his opportunity we've seen you know Enzo getting on for minutes we've seen Leslie and Tricky getting on we've seen Josh Woods emerge you know so um I think Ben and Dan have been flourishing in the midfield as well. So it's not all doom and gloom. You know, obviously we'd like all our players fit, but that's the nature of the game. And unfortunately, the last couple of years we've just been—it's just been a really horrendous run. And I don't sign a portion any blame to it. Um, and I'm not going to feel sorry for myself, or I'm not going to let the players feel sorry for themselves. We've got to concentrate on what we've got and go and try and win games. That, Playing four games in nine days, I know people complain about that. It makes me it makes me sick when I hear the 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 top flight managers complain about the you know the the amount of football I've got to play. And you look back to when I was going to watch Liverpool when I was a kid, and they had used fourteen players, thirteen players in one season in the league, handsomely. Um, and I know the game's moved on, you know, so I'm not, you know, I don't want to be accused of being, oh, he's an old fuddy duddy old stick in the mud. But you've got to get this balance right between uh, telling players that they're tired, they're going to act tired, you know, and yeah, it, it was a, a bit of a demand for us playing the four games in the 90s, and I think that the rest will have done some of them a bit of good. But I know myself when I played, um, I'd sooner play than train, you know, and so, yeah. I know that I exerted as much energy as I did in train as I did in the match, because I, I, I couldn't I couldn't turn the dial down. I was always on full tilt. Uh, and we've got a lot of players who are like that. So, you know, the, 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 the thrill of playing games should never ever leave you. and. I think we've got a set of lads in there who are just looking forward to every game that comes. Just specifically on the goalkeeper situation, the window is now open. What is Toby Savin's situation and are you still able to get the emergency loan cover while he's unavailable? He's still not fit, yeah, Toby. He's a couple of weeks away, I think. So then we'll have to adjust that situation when Toby becomes fit. And... It is January and a lot of loan deals have these recall clauses or review periods or whatever they are. Where are you with your loan players? We're seeing a lot of players being recalled in this window. Is there any concern recalled. about that? None of ours have been recalled. And are you beyond the point where they can be recalled? Um, difficult for me to comment on that. Um, I think they can be recalled up to the end of January, but um, as far as we've been led to believe that the parent clubs are happy with our players being in and playing the games that they play. January generally, with the injuries you've got, the young players being involved, on paper there's a lot of numbers there, but on paper you know that there's a lot that are not available to you. Is that going to limit what you can do in January? Just going back to January generally, I think that could make a great title for your second difficult album, Dan. Noted. Um, no. You know the, the the fact of the matter is that you know we can only spend what we've got. So the spending on the injured players still comes into the budget. So um, no, we unless some players go, 
uh, there's there's no sign of us bringing anybody in. Is that a situation that you're comfortable with? I don't think any manager would be comfortable with that, but you, you've got to be a realist first and foremost, and that's the that's the situation. Um, you know, we we've always been of the of the thought that we don't want to bankrupt the club. We never put the club in jeopardy, so we have to to deal with the cards that we've got. And you know, that's always been the case, really. Uh, it's just that because we've got so many injuries and a lot of them are presumptively forwards, it's uh, it's frustrating. And should somebody leave, are we talking about freeing up some budget in terms of wages rather than necessarily bringing in a fee so that you can spend money? Uh, we, we won't be spending any fees that we receive that'll go off paying the, the losses that we've incurred. Um, so it's it's a case of if we can free up money out of the budget, we can use that. So you're back to it. You've got a busy league programme coming up, but you've got a trophy game before that. It is a rerun of that semi-final and same opponent, of course. Does that add anything to it? There are enough players in there, and of course yourself and John and Jimmy and all the fans who were involved last time. Do you think that adds a, a bit of something? I think it's got to. I think it's got to, is it? Yeah. I would implore all our fans who are wavering whether to go or not to please come. You know, they're going to bring a lot. Um, I thought we put up a great show last year. Uh, very, very unfortunate with the decisions that went against us. Uh, and still showed a lot of character, you know, to not be breached for 84 minutes. Um, and yeah, I think that I think the fans know what they're getting off our team at the moment. They know they're getting a lot of honesty. Um, good football when they can. A great deal of energy, great deal of effort. So, please come. It's the flip side of the little break that you've had. There'll always be a degree of uncertainty about... Rusty Lee is the, is the term that comes gets used. Um, yeah, you know, they that's going to be the case. We try to alleviate that by having a, a little in-house game between ourselves on Saturday. Uh, but yeah, that's the that's the downside of having too much rest that year. You're a little bit rusty, but it balances itself out, doesn't it? What have you made of Bolton this season? Smashing squads. Uh, they should go up. I'd be, I'd be very surprised if they didn't. Um, and they've used the, the money wisely. They've spent wisely with the wages. Yeah, they've got good players to cover each position and they've managed to assemble a squad that is happy with that. Well, on the face of it, they're happy with that. I don't know what the, what the internal strifes are. But, you know, they do rotate well. They do, they've do. they got they've got plenty of good players, plenty of good options and that's the secret to try and get success. I guess there's a temptation to look at their schedule and FA Cup and FA Cup replays and stuff and try and second guess the selection. It is the most important thing, what you said there, that if they do make changes, it's probably going to involve another good player coming in. Well, it is. We're not, you know, we, we do our homework on them. We'll, we'll do the, the, the diligence that we have to do on them. Uh, but we can't control what we do. We can control what we can do. And that's what we'll do. You know, we'll... We'll look at how we're going to play and we'll look to try and win the game. There's, of course, a, a financial incentive with every round of this competition, which you discovered last year, getting all the way to the semi-finals. There's the sort of footballing glory element of it, that it's an opportunity to get to Wembley. These things, I don't think you need those as incentives. You tell us all the time, you couldn't want to win any more than you already do. Does it make a difference, though? Has it made this competition more important, the way that they've injected more finance into it and possibly more prestige? Depends on what club you're looking at, doesn't it? It depends on what the, what the, what the club's long-term object, objectives are. Uh, so the finance would make a big difference to us. Will it make a big difference to Bolton? I think not. Uh, same with Portsmouth. You know, same with you know, other, other, other clubs who are you know, in, in, in League One. Uh, obviously, the, the big incentive is the Wembley appearance, and I think every club wants that. So even the top league one clubs want that. Bolton won it last year, so they're the holders. So you know they'll want that, that Wembley experience again. Uh, although they might feel as though that detracted from the promotion push. 
uh, it's difficult to second guess, but you know, I know what I'll, well, I've treated this competition with respect and, you know, I've embraced it from the early days and that's not going to change for me, even if I went to a club that had money coming out of its ears. You know, I, it's, I think it's a, it's, it's a really good idea, the competition, and it's a really good opportunity for people. Are you far enough in now? to realistically look at a path to the final and being close enough to well, that? No, I mean, the, the big the big challenge is Bolton tomorrow. Um, and even if you beat them, you know, you're going to come up against another good club, so you just keep going. And hopefully one day it'll be our year. And just as far as your young one player... One day it'll be our year, that makes sense. One year it'll be our year. <laughs> Maybe that, yeah. yeah. Uh, just on your young players, quite a lot of these young guys who are playing week in, week out at the moment probably got their first taste of first team football in this competition. How valuable, therefore, in the sort of medium to long term is it proving to be to you? Well, it's been vital for us. You know, and it's, it is a great opportunity for them. You know, and it's something that, they'll, that these kids never forget. You know, making a debut in front of a crowd, in front of, under floodlights. It's a great opportunity, and it's it. It's as I said, it, I've got nothing but praise for the competition. 